In order for the bones in the joints to glide smoothly while they move, the body has small lubricated sacs called bursae located around moving joints throughout the body. The sacs contain a small amount of lubricating fluid called synovial fluid. The normal space inside of a bursa contains just enough synovial fluid to allow the surfaces to glide across each other with very little amount of friction. However, due to injury and resulting inflammation, a bursa sac may fill with excess fluid and become extremely painful. This condition is known as bursitis and may result from repetitive stress or overuse of a joint, an age-related weakening of the joint, or one of many other underlying conditions such as osteoarthritis. With Achilles bursitis, pain will occur along the back of the heel and will most likely increase while running uphill or on soft surfaces such as sand. Patients often complain of worsening pain while standing on tiptoes. The back of the heel may even be tender to the touch and visible swelling may be observed. To diagnose Achilles bursitis, your physician will conduct a physical exam. During this exam, your physician will move the foot around to see if any motions exacerbate the pain. They will also check for any noticeable nodules or swelling. Using an x-ray, your physician will take diagnostic images. These images cannot diagnose tendon bursitis, but they will rule out any other pain-causing ailments such as fracture or arthritis. Starting with conservative treatment, your physician will recommend rest, ice, and anti-inflammatory medication to reduce swelling. If these methods don't work, your physician will likely administer a steroid injection into the retrocalcaneal bursa. Your orthopedic physician may also place your foot in a cast during this time. If pain does not resolve from conservative treatment, your physician may discuss the possibility of surgery. While this is rare, surgery may be required to remove the affected bursa.